This is another episode of the Business Talk, where we get to acknowledge the African entrepreneurs in Turkey. Here with me at Eagle Studio today is Mr. Uriyomi Akiola, the CEO of MMA Entertainment. Mr. Uriyomi, you're welcome on the show yeah, today. You're welcome too. Thank you for inviting me down to your studio. You're welcome, sir. It's yeah. so good to have you around. You're looking beautiful. <laughs> Thank you very much for the compliment. Yeah. Okay, so um, let's dive into business. Okay. Um, can you tell us about yourself? Um, okay, um, I'm just me. Mm. <laughs> and I'm trying to be like nobody but me. So mm. my name is Zoe Yomi. Um, I'm a comedian and I'm an entertainer. I'm into event and management. Okay. And I'm also a businessman. Mm. I deal with a uh, clothing line too. Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually studying uh, my master's too mm. here in Turkey. But, um, you know, sometimes you have to go um, school, credential, yeah. you know, you entertainment potential <laughs> yeah. so when you add the two together it makes you essential <laughs> oh my god <laughs> did you guys just see that no, school no. credential uh, yeah entertainment no. potential, potential. when you add it together it makes you essential essential oh my god that's just a good right <laughs> thank you so much for that mystery yeah. yummy thank okay you. so um what's really um developed your interest in entertainment oh yeah so i i believe there was something that um, what you do that make you smile, that make you laugh, that make you happy, even mm. without collecting money from it, is uh, a way of discovering yourself. Mm. And um, I was actually motivated from the beginning. I just, I, I, I love um, cracking jokes. Mm. I love making people laugh. And, and also, I'm a content creator. Okay. Yeah, and, and I write script too. So at a point in time, um, when I was growing up, I listened to different kind of music, you know, what different kind of um, playlets. Mm. They're in church, you know, I do okay. all this drama of a okay. thing. So from there, I started developing, you know, interest um, for it. So I could remember years back, I read a book by um, Ben Carson, Gifted and, nice, and yeah. So, and I really motivated by that. Ah, well, I can't do this mm, thing. And, yeah. And today, yeah, Thank to God. go be the glory. Mm -hmm. Thank God. Yeah, we are. Thank God. Thank you so much, Mr. Oriyomi. Okay, um, so I, I want to ask this next question okay. about um your business. You say you're into clothing line. Yes, yeah, sure. So um, how, what is it about your business? Do you import, export, or how is it about your business? Uh, um, I do the two. You know, okay. From the local to the foreign, from foreign, foreign to, to local. local. Yeah, so I have um, my clients, I have my customers um, okay. all over, across the border, you know, from uh, US, from Canada, and um, UK, Nigeria, you know, because though I've been doing that when I was in Nigeria, and I have the understanding about it. Yeah. Uh, personally, um, I'm a fashionista, I love fashion too. No, yeah, I can Even see. the Bible says, no weapon fashion against you. Shall I prosper. shall prosper, yeah. <laughs> so, um, from there, you know, and money is needed. Mm. So, yeah, I actually studied business when I was in uh, Nigeria okay. too. I went to the city university. Wow. So, yeah, sure, school <laughs> over me. <laughs> so, uh, you know, you being a studying business admin, so you don't just um, go to school alone. Mm. You have to, you know, understand, you know, your, your, your strength. You have to understand the discipline you are mm. into. So from there, I was able to build um, a lot of um, brand for myself, a lot of okay. nature. And, uh, you know, while I was in school, I started doing all this business. You travel to Kuton, yeah. you bring clothing <laughs> stuff, yeah. you know, meet my friends. Bro, <laughs> I have these sneakers, you know, buy it, you know, that kind yeah. of stuff. So yeah. it makes me so agile, you know, I love moving. I'm not this kind of person that I just want to sit, sit in, a, 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 in an office from yeah. morning to night. No, mm. I don't do that. You know? <laughs> so you don't like it's the a, typical uh, nine to five? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you I, like I, to I be your know. own boss? Yes, uh, yes. not just my own boss. I, I, I like to um, move around, move, move around, around, diversify. Yeah. You know, then it's it's one of the attributes of a good leadership. Yeah. You know, being able to being versatile. Yeah, being versatile. Yeah. So <laughs> then from there, I started doing this thing. So when I came to Turkey, um, language barrier, mm. looking for work and all like that. Yeah. And anywhere you find yourself, just open your head, mm. talk to yourself, and 
what's happening then from there i picked you know okay fine mm. since i've been doing this and uh, to god be the glory and uh, god has been faithful mm. thank yeah. you very much thank you so much mr Riyomi. okay so um we have you know we have lots of show promoters in Turkey presently yes. they're africans yeah. and we also have um you know a lot of people coming to open entertainment um stuff in um Turkey presently yeah. so um what i just want to ask you know what have been the challenges for you in entertainment in Turkey? What has been the challenges for you so far? What challenges have you uh, been facing? Okay, um, um, not really challenges like that. The only thing I can actually say is um, maybe um, language barrier. Oh, yeah. You know, like um, sometimes, you know, like now there was a time I went to perform for the Turkish people, you know. Okay. You want to crack jokes for them and you know that most of them uh, could not speak English. English. Talk so how do you communicate mm. that? So you have to relate with them in the language um, they, understand. they understand. You know, so building yourself with the um, with you know their language, cracking jokes, making them to feel this good sense of humor yeah. you have. It's a little bit uh, difficult, mm. and then I don't really see much challenges in the entertainment here because uh, you do your own, I do my yeah, own. Yeah, that's true. You know, because I'm not uh, a competitive kind of person. I just go and learn. But mm. we have a couple of them doing great, and I mm. know one, and I respect them a lot. We have um, someone like um, Effect Entertainment. Mm. Yes, he's one of the person I respect too much in the country, you know, and he's very, he's doing very good. And uh, so you have to respect your boss when you when you see him. <laughs> we also have uh, the likes of um, AJ Entertainment. Oh, yeah. yeah. So yeah. even recently, we still talk about uh, bringing Portugal, and it mm. was done. And, uh, so I don't really see too much difficulty because uh, the sky is too big for, for everybody. Everyone. And me personally, I love to spread my tentacles. So mm -hmm. no. Really, uh, I don't really have any, any challenges. challenges. Just the language barrier. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, Mr. Oriyomi. We're going on a short break right now. See you soon. See. All right. Uh, my names are Joseph Ovio Orile, CEO Classic Show Entertainment, CEO Classic Place Hotel Lounge and Bar, CEO Classic Car Wash, CEO Classic Food. Let me tell you guys, the best of the best studio we have in Turkey, Istanbul. I will not say just talk Istanbul, all over the world, Ego Studio. They are into all kind of event packaging, you know. When you want to do any event, you want to record your event, photography, you want people to know what you do here in Turkey, you want to get known by people, you have to come to Ego Studio, you know. They tell people, they let people know what's happening around you. So you guys should keep on going to Ego Studio. Business with them is very short. You understand me? So keep on following Go Studio. You know they are the best of the best. You know, I love you guys. I uh, keep on watching Go Studio. See you guys. Oh. Welcome back. I still have here with me Mr. Obiyomi Akiola, yeah. the CEO of MMA Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Mr. Obiyomi, I yeah. want to ask um, this question for startups. Okay. Like, um, if we have someone that is interested in going into entertainment business mm -hmm. like you do mm -hmm. in Turkey mm -hmm. as African, mm -hmm. you know, I distinguished it as African, not as a white person. White. Okay. As African, mm -hmm. what are the things do you think the person should first consider before starting such business? Okay. The first thing is, is your passion. Okay. Do you have passion for that thing you want mm -hmm. to do? Then uh, I read a book by um, Miles Moreau. Uh, it talks about late Miles Moreau. It talked about a uh, great concept of letter D. Mm. The first letter is you discover yourself. Mm. Two, you develop yourself. Then three, you demonstrate what you discover oh, and God. developed. Mm. So um, before you you, you know you made up your mind going to entertainment in Turkey, is it what you have been doing before? Is it your okay. passion? Are you doing it because people are doing are it and doing they are making it, money? Yeah. Do, do, these are the things. It's not something that you will just start mm. and you start making money, start making them and not like that. You get sometimes you feel so tired like mm. ah, you want to give up. Mm. But then if it is your passion, that will keep you going. Mm. So before starting that kind of stuff, yeah, that kind of entertainment, ask yourself, do you have passion for it? Mm. Do you get? Yeah. Because that passion will definitely lead you to 
the other side of um, the best part of it. Mm -hmm. so, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Mr. Oriyomi. Yeah. So um, um, I want to ask, um, MMA Entertainment, yeah, sure. what, what plan do you have for your organization in the next five to ten years? Uh, I don't think uh, I should start naming them now because they are enormous, just mm. too much. Um, but one of them is, um, you know, like I have a couple of my fans. I think I have huge fans here already in okay. Turkey and um, you know, so uh, I'm actually planning on a, um, a concert, a show, okay. a comedy show now and we have the likes of um, Bada Shaggy is going to be around, and um, oh, wow. Kenny Black is going to be around, wow. Effect Akure, they want that guy that <laughs> act like, you know, like that crazy, the first time I saw him <laughs> acting, I was just like this guy. Wow, knows. wow, so, I can't wait. <laughs> so, you know, just don't let me talk much about I it. I really and can't wait for that really, show. I don't really talk of what I would do. Yeah. I, I just show people what I can do. Mm. But expect expect the best of the, the best. The unexpected. Yes, now, the pa <laughs> you know, one thing I know about pastor, you guys, you know, pastor destroy you. But somebody mm. like me, I crack joke. <laughs> Yeah, so we are still on the same. So I'll just, you know, see the way you are smiling. Yeah, I'll be smiling like Why? Papa you know, you are because you're funny. I'm funny. Yeah. People, uh, yes, people do call me funny boom sometimes. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Riyomi. Yeah, you're okay, welcome. Okay, so down to our audience, to everyone that has been watching us. Okay. What advice do you have for people out there mm -hmm. that want to become an entrepreneur or that want to do the same entertainment business you do? What advice do you have for them? Uh, the only advice I would just tell them is in everything you do, put God first. Mm. Mm. Then two, know your passion, know your mm. purpose in life. That's because once you know your purpose, um, you never give up on your dream. Mm. I don't dream too small, please. You Think know big. I mean? Dream big, you know. <laughs> dream big, and mm. let your dream, you know, let your dream be bigger than your fear. Mm. Mm. Now just take it and take it like mm. that. Let your dream be bigger <coughs> than your fear. Than your fear yeah. Thank you so much, Mister Oriyomi Akinola. Thank welcome. you for coming to Ego Studio today. Okay. Um, this will be the end of today's episode. But before even the end, sorry to cut you short. <laughs> so I'm just wondering, like, you are light, so you are Fanta. <laughs> oh and, my uh, God. Can you guys, me, I am black, I'm cool. <laughs> cool, cool. Oh my so God, can, cool can, like can you guys see that Mr. William is just a funny person. Thank you so much for coming to yeah, the studio welcome. today. Thank we are so pleased me. to have you here. I, I Thank, you. You. Thank you. See so you next week.